in the six years that I've been doing videos on YouTube, I've had a lot of milestones here and there, of course. I mean, granted, there's videos that have done substantially better than other ones. For example, my Tony Cry Night reactions or my Cosmo videos. But there's one single video that stands out among all of them. And to be completely honest, I hate it to pieces. But that video is... Model Train Video's early morning run with the SP Daylight 4449. This single video is the most popular video that I've ever made in terms of viewers. In the six years that it's been on YouTube, I've counted the amount of viewers that it has, and in total it has over a million views. None of my videos on YouTube even come close to this one. All my other videos have triple digits. This one is the only one that has a million views. And I got to thinking the other day, why on earth is this single video the only one that has managed to get a million views? I don't understand it. People, ever since I uploaded that video back in 2016, I've been trying my hardest to figure out why this video is so popular. Why it has so many views. How come it stands out from all the other videos? And I think... And I don't really think the comments are helping. I mean, I've asked people before, and they haven't really given me a clear answer. Now, I'm not saying that they're wrong, I'm just saying I just need a clear answer. However, I personally believe that this can all be chopped down to one simple word. Simplicity. A lot of times the videos I watch on YouTube are straight and forward to the point. For example, let's play videos, and there's videos that are really complicated like some of the animated stories that I find on YouTube, like from The Odd Ones Out, Jaden Animation, and Alan Becker. But my videos in particular, I don't really think they fall into any of these categories really. I mean personally my videos are simple, easy to understand, and they were entertaining up until 4 years ago at the time of this video. But personally I think that this one video of my 4449 going around in circles for three minutes straight delivers on its simplicity. Okay, take this for example. What's the one thing that's common throughout most of my train videos? It's just me filming my trains going around in circles for who knows how many minutes. Due to simplicity, it leads to... It led to this video getting such a high following not only because it's simple and easy to understand, it's just me in the morning filming my trains on my stomach while I film my trains going around in circles for three minutes straight, but the time limit is digestible as well. It's a little over three minutes long, so if you think about it, that makes it easy to understand as well as it delivers on its premise. It's just me filming my train going around in circles for three minutes straight. There's no music? Well, there is sound effects, but that... <laughs> there's sound effects and that counts. The music doesn't. Don't, don't count that. But anyway, what makes this video special is its simplicity and the time limit that it has. A lot of videos that I see on YouTube usually are around 15 to 30 minutes long, but my friend tells me that videos that are usually shorter are usually easier for people to understand as well as they deliver a bite size experience while they're, I guess they're like browsing YouTube or something like that. So this video has two things going on, premise and simplicity. The premise is simple, it's me recording my train going around in circles for three minutes. And then all the shots are simple and easy to follow. And I think that it's simplicity that has led a lot of projects on this scale to become so popular. For example, I've learned that oftentimes we're so captivated by such complicated things. I'm looking at you, Marvel Cinematic Universe. But if you look, but if you think about it, it's often the simple ideas that make the most amount of impact on us. For example, Pixar movies. I mean, granted they're a little bit more complicated when you look under the surface, but it's those classic movies that really stand out. Like for example, Up, my second favorite movie of all time, it has a simple premise. A, an elderly gentleman flies his house to, to South America using balloons. 
But when you actually get into the meat and potatoes of it, it's an old, it's an elderly gentleman fulfilling a promise to his wife that they would fly to South America, and along the way they end up getting, he ends up getting tied up with a, with a boy scout and a talking dog and a giant bird, and chaos ensues. It's simple in premise, but at the same time it's also complicated for those of us who like complicated stuff. So my video of my train going around is simple and it's easy to understand. And I think this was also during the golden age of my channel from 2016 to 2018. So in this case, it was during the time when my channel got the most amount of views. So yeah, <laughs> it's simplicity and premise that has led this video to gain more views than any other video on my channel. I mean, most of my videos come close, like for example my Tony Crinai, my Cosmo Lookout video has got triple digit thousand views. But this one video has a million. It's really difficult to understand why that this video has such a popular following, but at the same time it's also easy to understand. What am I even saying here? <laughs> it's simplistic and it's easy to watch whenever you don't have time. So regardless of this, I think this video is stupid, but it works. It's stupid video and it works. <laughs> Like I said, simple videos work the best. And even though this video hasn't had a competition in, in the six years I've been doing YouTube, who knows, maybe one day of one of my videos will get over, over the amount of views that this one has. Maybe two million, three million, who knows? But I believe that that is another story for another day.